Welcome back to Animeology, and here are some of the best harem anime with a badass main character. There's only so much of a specific genre one can watch before the watch list approaches its end, and we understand how infuriating that can be. Hence, here we have compiled for you some hidden gems, lesser known yet equally entertaining anime with a dope protagonist and plenty of plot to go around. Number 10, Triage X. Just what the doctor ordered, Triage X follows the endeavors of a band of civilized vigilantes that go by the name Black Label. This organization has taken upon itself the noble duty of ridding this world of society's ills, and at the center of it all is Arashi Mikami, our protagonist. <laughs> who as a child was the sole survivor of an unsolved terrorist bombing. With years past, Orashi and the rest of Black Label make sure to rid the world of such illnesses. By day, they save lives under the exterior of Mochizuki General Hospital, and by night, they hunt down scum of the highest caliber. However, in spite of his duties, our protagonist still somehow manages to find himself in sultry positions, thanks to the gorgeous ladies on his team. Number 9, Undefeated Bahamut Chronicle. Next up is the tale of Lux Arcadia, the former prince of Arcadia Kingdom. Former because five years prior to the main plot, the empire was overthrown due to a rebellion. Amidst all the chaos was a single drag knight named Black Hero. The story begins when Lux accidentally peeks at the kingdom's new princess, Lisa Charte. And to top it off, he ends up complimenting her childish figure. Uh-oh. The enraged princess challenges Lux to a drag battle. Not the kind you're thinking. Drags are ancient mecha armors, and similarly, drag battles are bouts between the two drags being controlled from the inside, and so, the battle commences and Lux emerges as the victor, after which he gets accepted to the All Girls Academy, in training to become a drag knight, the perfect harem recipe. Number 8, The Asterisk War. Long ago, a calamity known as Inversia literally reformed the planet, with the governments in shambles, a private organization named Integrated Empire Foundation seized control. But a more surprising event was taking place. Individuals were born with inhuman capabilities. They were called Genestella. As time passed, the best among the Genestella were handpicked to attend the Elite Six schools to compete against one another in battles known as Festas. Then enters Ayato Amagiri, the protagonist, who joins the prestigious Sedokin Academy on a scholarship, his reason being to search for his missing elder sister. But fate has other plans, as Ayato finds himself accidentally peeking at a half-dressed Julius Alexia, the Witch of Resplendent Flames. As the story progresses, a more sinister plot is unraveled, and Ayato must now compete in the fesses against other schools. Number 7, The Testament of Sister New Devil. This one follows Basara Tojo as he constantly finds himself in unpleasant situations with his two demon stepsisters. He was living a completely normal high school life until one day his father broke to him the news of his remarriage. Moreover, he was about to have two cute stepsisters, Mio and Maria Naruse. Until this point, things weren't so bad, but then his father departed overseas and the truth unraveled. Basara quickly found that his two stepsisters were part of a demonic clan, with Mio being a demon princess. Soon after, when Mio tried to forcibly form a slave contract, it reversed and she ended up becoming a slave to Basara instead. Now our protagonist must protect her from the politics of the demon realm and get stronger through erotic pleasure with Mio. Number 6, 
でもお断りですバサラさんは私のお兄ちゃんですから<笑>マリア !No.6 The Fruits of Grissaya Mihami Academy, a prison with high and mighty walls, within which hide five beautiful women, scared by their unjust fate and the cruel world in which they came. Each of the five ladies has gone through great trauma in their past, which has led them to hide away in this castle of solitude, away from the human world. Amidst all this, a new student, Yuji Kazumi, sets foot in this institute, searching for a peaceful high school life. But this dream has no place in Mihama, as the encounters between Yuji and the five maidens results in him finding out about the trauma which has them scared of the world. Will Yuji be their catalyst to freedom, or the guy who's supposed to be their savior has a tale more saddening than anyone? <laughs> Number 500. The land of man is under siege by an unknown extraterrestrial organism called Savage. These ruthless beasts have done insurmountable damage to the human race, with the only known technology to counter them being a weapon known as 100. But to use one, the wielder has to be compatible with the weapon. This is where Hayato Kisaragi, the protagonist, comes in. His compatibility with Hundred successfully gets him accepted into the Marine Academy city ship Little Garden, where his training begins to become a slayer. But as Auntie Mei says, with great power comes great female attention, and so begins his journey of warding off these alien savages while at the same time building his own little harem. Number 4, Makin Ki. The story of this anime centers around Takeru Uyama, a typical teenage boy, high with hormones. His new academy, Tenbi, is one recently converted from an all girls to a co ed, and as a typical boy, Takeru enrolls into this academy in hopes of encountering pretty girls, and if God be gracious, getting lucky. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> However, this institute reveals to be far more than it seems. It unravels to him that the students here possess magical abilities, which they channel through special weapons known as Makins. Using these Makin, students engage in academy sanctioned battles, testing and improving their abilities. Having neither a Makin nor any abilities, Takeru finds himself in a serious dilemma. On the bright side, at least he's getting some female attention. <laughs> Number 3 Sword Art Online. A time where gaming has evolved to the point of in dive immersive virtual reality. With the new Nerve Gear, players from around the globe are excited for Sword Art Online, a medieval fantasy game with a beautiful yet challenging layout. Among these excited gamers is our protagonist, Kazuto Kirigaya, also known as Kirito. But this once in a lifetime experience quickly shifts into the most horrific nightmare when Kayaba, the creator of SAO, decides to trap over 1,000 players inside Einkrad. With the only escape being the clearance of level 100, Kirito takes it upon himself to become the most overpowered swordsman and end this bad nightmare. But this task is easier said than done. It's through gaining allies and a huge harem that Kirito can make it out alive. Number 2, Familiar of Zero. <laughs> Louise Francois Le Blanc de la Valliere, a noble lady of a prestigious family, yet terrible in the art of magic. In the Tristan Academy of Magic, when the second years are asked to perform a summoning ritual, Louise once again tries her best, but the result, as usual, ends up in a huge explosion. However, as the smoke clears, a young boy emerges, leaving her in utter embarrassment. Oh. Hmm? 
Saito Hiraga has accidentally been summoned from Japan. Louise, to uphold the sanctity of the sacred spell, reluctantly takes Saito in as her familiar, but treats him horribly. But as the days pass, his true abilities begin showing. Powers manifest within, and he becomes a capable warrior. This is the unusual tale of a familiar and its master as they grow ever closer. <laughs> Number 1. Classroom of the Elite <laughs> Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing School, the most elite school in Japan dedicated to nurturing the most brilliant minds. With its state-of-the-art facilities and teaching methods, this institute holds a staggering 100% success rate. But in keeping that standard, the students are subjected to a ruthless competition to reach Class A, and the undesirable ones dumped in Class D. Tada. Tada. Ore no all this comes to a compromise when Kiyotaka Ayanokoji, an introverted guy with the highest level of intelligence, joins this institution in hopes of receiving a normal high school life. He arrives in Class D, on purpose, where he encounters Horikita Suzune and Kushida Kikyo, two others in Class D. From then on, a series of events gets him involved with school affairs, his aspirations of a quiet life come to a close, and a psychological thriller commences. D-class is 